go. All right. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Station three. Station three on page 12 of Mixture Station's recording sheet. And uh, we've got a next, we got our next station here. And we've got to figure out what we're going to call these materials. I'm going to show you the materials. What would you call this? Make your prediction. Make your prediction. And then, teachers, you can stop your video and uh, talk that over. Okay, you were right. I hope you were right. Actually, I'm just being optimistic, I guess, in hoping that you were right. Did you say birdseed? That's what it is. It's a mixture of all kinds of different stuff. So it's birdseed. Now, uh, I want you guys to think about, hmm, how would we separate this mixture? What would be the best way to separate the mixture? You can stop your video again right now. I, I don't know. Did you have time? Did you have time? Are you sure? Okay, you had time? Good. All right. Well, let's see. What did you... We had a lot of different answers that went on. I bet. I bet we had some different answers. I bet you didn't have this answer. I bet you didn't think about water. Put it in water and see what floats and what doesn't float. Let's put a little bit of it in there. Not all of it. Oh, look at that. So we've got... Uh, it looks like we've got some things float and some things don't. See there, it looks like the uh, sunflower seeds float, but the corn seeds don't. And then some of these little orange brownie kind of looking deals, that little thing right there that looks like a little pebble, some of those float and some of them don't. This thing looks like it's flying around. Is that alive? No, it's not. It had like something on, oh, that one, it's going down now. So if you hit some of them, they'll go down. But if you knock the sunflowers around, the sunflower seeds around, they still float. But that's kind of messy. You know, I guess we could remove the sunflower seeds that way. Which of you said maybe to use the screens? Well, let's try the screens. We're going to try, we'll try the very smallest, finest screen here first. Um, so I'm going to put that all in there. And I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Mm, doesn't look like very much is falling through. Just some smaller pieces of the corn, kernels of corn. So we're going to put this back in here. Mm -hmm, maybe. Yep, there we go. And then i got to bend this up a little bit here. Try not to break it. Whoop, there we go. All right, so let's try the next one, right? You want the bigger one? All right, we've got the bigger one. So we can let... Just some of this stuff through, right? This is going to work, right? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. No, look at that. Everything fell through. That's no good. That's not going to work. That's that's not straining anything. It's straining to strain. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so now what are we going to do? You know what I think I'm going to have to do? I think I'm going to have to do it by hand. I think I'm just going to have to use a pair of tweezers here i didn't get my box out soon my bag out soon enough but i have some tweezers here that i'm going to use and i'm going to separate these out so here and just i'm going to stop my video so i can separate this out and then i'll get back with you here in a sec Woo! okay that took me about a half an hour to separate all that i even used the water for the sunflower seeds and then I used, I started using my tweezers, but then I thought of something. You know how we're learning about studying the physical properties of matter so that we can better understand them. And then studying the physical properties of this matter, I noticed something about these little corn pieces. They are all at odd angles. They're like flat and they're crooked and they're... They're like, look like little triangles or they're little, uh, they have flat edges on them. They're not round. These are round. So what I was able to do with these little brown things is I kind of tilted the plate to one side. Whoops. Well, now those are sliding. But uh, I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me see if I can get that closer. Oh, oh. what? What? Discow, did you push me? Yes, I pushed you. I pushed you. Ah, ha, ha. You spent lots of time getting seeds taken apart, and now look at them. 
Why did you do that to me, Disco? Why would you do that? Why you think? Why you think you talk bad about my bling and you get out magnet and you make me look foolish? No, I didn't make you look foolish. You make yourself look foolish whenever you get worried about stuff like that. I was just trying to do science and I thought it was cool. And now, now look what you did. You mixed all of my stuff together. I spent a half an hour doing that. Are you kidding me? That's not very nice. Kids, I know that you are not like Disco. You guys care about me. And you wouldn't do something like that. Um, Disco, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's terrible. That is not the Geggy way. We are gonna, I can't wait till we get everybody back in class. And we can teach you some of the Geggy manners around this place. Alright, dude? Alright, so that is... Uh, <clears throat> that is station number three. We did station number three. So now we're going to do four next. Okay, so I'm going to end this video. We're going to start the next one. All right, we'll see you in a minute.